Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World of Waves 3 as Germany episode number 15. We're basically at war. I'm not happy about that, not because I don't want to take territory or anything, not because I don't want to fight the French by themselves, but because I think this will turn into kind of a slog. I, I, I really do love the piece. I just love the strategic map. <laughs> and that's maybe not everyone, but it, it, it is me. I think it's actually a uh, you know, a lot of fun to play a battle like every now and then, but not, uh, I, I would prefer maybe like an 80-20 balance strategic tactical. Mm, yeah. Anyways, I'm really nervous about hitting the next turn button because I'm afraid we will be at war. And the problem with that is, of course, that the French are allied with the British, which could spell um, a large degree of problems for us. In fact, it'll be a repeat, the Triple Entente versus Germany yet again. We're really just getting smushed time and time again. Now, the good news is, well, I guess it isn't great news, is it? The Bodevig class is quite far away from being realized. Anyway, we're just going to have to wait, wait it out. Um, what will be the gist? The frequency is threatened by the imperialistic ambitions... Well, does it really matter at this point? Um, just a game mechanic thing we could maybe play with here is the fact that when you choose, uh, if the tensions are higher for you, then you make more money, you have more budget. People are like, you know, it makes sense, right? More geopolitical threats, more money for the military. So it's always possible for us to choose like the USA or Japan here Jet, not, not actually, USA is probably the least threatening. It's hilarious because we ha I don't think we share any holdings with the US. And we definitely, not, obviously, we definitely do now with Japan. So probably what we should do is just choose the US to get the tensions up with them because it doesn't really matter. And, um, I mean, it, it, they're not going to go to war anyways. But, but. And it would be problematic if we went to war with the U.S. because just because they had, they probably have a big fleet. I'm actually sure, I'm not actually sure that's true. Um, Twenty four. Well, they're double us in battleships. We're still waiting. Now, I have heard. Um, that I'm just reading the comments, of course. That uh, tier two, or sorry, um, quality negative one guns take a while to come. Okay, well, let's just do this decision. That's perfectly fine. Um, we're not yet at war with France. In fact, I would love to avert that war if at all possible. Is it possible? Unlikely. I mean, normally when you cross that line, it's happened like every now and then it still happens where I can pull things back, but it's not common. Okay, so we are now second to the British in terms of dock size. We're at 2150, they're at 22,000. And... Second to, uh, th um, third behind us is France at 18,000. And then everyone's like, you know, 12 to 16. But we're, so we're still doing good in terms of, of size and dock size and all that. Building capacity is probably still good. So we have plenty of building capacity available still. I, I, okay, this is what's already building and that's what's available. So yeah, anyways, we're only using half of our capacity and this is on a ton of these ships. If we can stave things off for another nine months, then at least we might be able to push aside the blockade. Not sure. Well, yet another turn, and every turn we can make it. But at the same time, I'm sure that the French also have some ships that they're building. Two battleships, two armored cruisers, and four corvettes. Ah, people are starting to get corvettes now. Of course, we still have the 60 submarine fleet that we are not yet controlling. I mean, we're not yet moving around. Ah, we're not yet done building. <laughs> that could explain some stuff. So if we even end up parking all of them in the Northern European area, I think that's fine. Um, France about war with us. Um, that might be the, the one minute, the, the one month morning. Okay. So let me get the Volga lands back and we have to do it this turn. We just have to immediately do it. 
Did they have a rebuild for them? Okay, good. So we'll just do it this way right away. I'm hoping that we have enough uh, of everything else that we need. I never thought about bulging. All these bulk lands, what are they at? They're already slow enough that they're losing some speed. So losing two extra knots, I mean, that would be pretty devastating. They only have eight inch guns. They're only at 20. I'm, I'm, try I'm worried about bulging them for a lot of reasons. Obviously that's bad, but it might, I don't know. It might be worth it though. It's kind of the theme of this playthrough so far. It's funny because, like, what do you do with that extra thing? Well, you can replace the machinery. <laughs> no, we don't want to do that. That's very expensive. In this case, I think we're just going to stick with basically a, a paint job, as I like to call the uh, refits, which don't, don't really do anything. Oh, right. Well, we want this at least, and that's going to cause some problems. Okay, so now we are back to... Some tough questions. It's even possible for us here to get rid of our torpedoes. Now, I like to have one just in case, though, so let's not do that. It's nice to have one just in case, you know. By the way, does it take 12 months to remove? Interesting, it takes 12 months. So there's this, um, there was this idea that changed the rounds per gun. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it makes sense because when you ch when you lower the rounds per gun, you still have to like recommit the ammunition storage space to something else. The fact that that took twelve months, I I, I think it's more of a game mechanic than something that honestly is realistic. But how do we get away with this then? Well, we can, can't quite do it if we go down to one there. We can change the conning tower armor. What? Okay, we will make the conning tower impenetrable. <laughs> yes, that is right. You can remove the conning tower but not change its armor thickness. Okay, that, that explains it. Okay, I need to cancel. I don't even remember what this thing was at. Interesting, we could remove the conning tower armor. I'm not sure I want to do that though. I mean, it would solve, uh, we just have this problem where we need to get central range finder on here and we can't quite get it. Okay, we're at three, if I remember that. Yeah, getting rid of the conning tower would certainly solve that problem. Not a big fan of it though. Um, okay, rate of fire is only 10% down, that's not too bad. Yeah, I mean, the other solution is just bulge things. Ugh. It's really not that bad of a ship. It's gonna be so painfully slow, but... And I think you do lose ships like armored cruisers, you're gonna lose them if you bulge them and then make them slow. It just depends on if we're, how, how we think about it. Are we fighting for the, I think we're just fighting for the near term right now. And because we're fighting for the near term, I think I'm gonna take the speed hit, which won't be as painful right now. Yeah, and look at it, I don't know if this is a good idea. I would not necessarily advise doing what I am doing here. But we're doing it, and I guess you can judge from the results <laughs> whether or not you'd want to do it or not. Live from my live off my experience. Okay, we're probably gonna be at war now. Is that what was gonna happen? Oh, managed to acquire the knowledge of side drums. Alright, we'll take it. Oh, well, that's not good. Face hardening, accuracy, and no war! We did it! We did, oh, we were at the brink. Oh my gosh, just buy me a little bit of time. And money-wise, I, I mean, I, I'm planning, I really am planning to just build tons of Bodavigs. <laughs> just keep building them. We have like uh, six months left. We have 10, we have like 11, not nah, 10, let's call it. Months of, of funding left. Once these leave, uh, well, they're only 648 apiece. We're gonna need quite a few of them to, to be completed before we are 
positive in terms of money. But I would otherwise like to, as soon as possible, start building new ones so that the, you know, we don't have to wait too long. I mean, how many do we have? Do we have maybe already enough? No, 18. I want more. What is the maintenance on these going to be? Did I have to, I'm pretty sure I checked that already. Okay, just open the design. Maintenance. Maintenance. Monthly cost. No, that's not what I want. I guess we don't know. Oh, I, I build. I can build one to get the maintenance. Okay, the maintenance is only going to be 57. Let's put that. I've never actually looked at this directly. I mean, in this game, but let's just take a look to look at, <laughs> take a moment to look at the maintenance fees. So 57 is going to be, goodness gracious, the cheapest. Is it going to be the cheapest? We have a few more down here. Um, these guys are all in reserve fleet, mind you, which by the way, I'm not sure. <laughs> Thank goodness we didn't start the war. I did not go to active fleet. Um, we don't have the money to go to active fleet. Really, we're just going to go all reserve. We're like really doubling down on peace. So we're going to have to pick out all those options. Now, um, note that it was 57, right? If it's 57, just remember, I mean, I mean 57, wow, wait, by the way, West Africa, I'm just noticing. Do we have a problem here? We do have a, yeah, we do have a problem. Um, sweet money. I don't have the money to, to okay, just get you out of West Africa. I, where do we have points? Oh, well, I'll just click on it. I, there's a way, I think, to bring up uh, the list of all the... I only have five there. Well, look, it, it's not that hard. I guess we'll just send her back. Move to Europe. Move to Northern Europe just for a turn, get that done, and then, oh, see? Oh, okay, 900 is not going to be enough. So if we got another Delph in there, actually, these Del this the, all these guys can go back. We don't need them on four stations anyway, do we? We have Southern Africa and South Pacific covered. There we go. We have... Southern Africa and Pacific. No, we don't need anybody in the Pacific. So West Africa, this is where you're going. You're going to West Africa. Yeah, we don't need you in the South Pacific. I know that I, I thought about doing that, but you know what? More important, why don't you go to, over to West Africa where we're there. <laughs> so if you move something, apparently that is where you can bring up the list of how many points we have. Apparently 1,700 in the Baltic and in Northern Europe. Are you, oh, you're already in Northern Europe. Wait, 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 wait. oh yeah, because I chose you. I was like, what are you doing in Northern Europe? Well, we have a lot in Northern Europe, I'm sure. Irrelevant, doesn't, doesn't really matter. We don't need to look at that now. So on we go. Safe fuse arming devices, gradual increase in shell damage. Okay, not sure why safe fuse stuff would, maybe it's addition of fuses somehow, or the fuses work better. Very much still on the knife's edge with France. Don't want to aggravate that situation at all. Love for some new guns. All right, we have a problem here. You're in the South Pacific and we don't have enough. Okay, so by the way, you don't need to be in the South Pacific. Why don't you move somewhere else? Now the Gefions are not meant to be, okay, we'll move you over to Northeast Asia. Actually, I'm surprised. Why do we not have enough points there? Because I'm pretty sure that we have like a lot of points in the South Pacific, don't we? Let's find out. Three out of 50, what is going on? Oh, okay, I know what's, I know what's going on here. We can move them again and it's kind of painful to do it this way, but do this, cancel movement orders, and that should have worked. Oh, you gotta cancel again, okay, good. So the Gefion has the star, that's from their move to here. But, and we can, by the way, put them on active fleet. I think everybody can, oh, sorry. I want people who are on foreign station. You can sort by status, but I don't like to reorganize the sorting. 
So I'm just going to grab them like this and I'm going to put them on. Yeah, I guess we can put them on, on active fleet because if they're not in Northern Europe, they can't go to reserve. Then we'll put everyone else on reserve. So that, um, basically this, uh, the Gefion must have just arrived here, which means that the last few turns they might have spent in an area where we didn't have any, any bases, which is why they have that star. I, I'm, at least I'm, that's my guess. There are popular protests in Germany against the high naval expenditures. The Kaiser expresses his concern that our forces in the Baltic are insufficient considering the threat from Russia. Your current strength, 6, require 208. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, your current strength, 6. Required, 208. Ships in reserve count. But we have submarines. Don't they understand? Oh my gosh. Couldn't have been any worse than that. All right, our top spies managed to get a hold of blueprints. Well, they're still using their 12 inch guns, 12 seven inch guns, 12 three inch guns. Hmm. Spain has stolen top spies. Okay, it's Spain. I don't care. But at the same time, I'm happy to instigate things with them because, you know, it's just free budget. All right, we must be getting very close on these ships. I'm still not sure whether or not I'm going to build more of them. Um, by the way, the Volga lands, they are all back in Northern Europe. Okay, good. That's where I want them. In fact, let's move them to the Baltic to try to minimize the complaints we're getting from the Kaiser. And I don't think it's a bad idea to have some ships there. In fact, we'll move a lot of... Wait, are the Freyas... So the Freyas are 18, 19, we want our best foot forward. Yeah, so we're going to move all of you guys to the Baltic. Although I would like to have, I, I might undo this later because I, I do want more blockade points in Northern Europe. I think that's where it's going to matter the most. Aha. Uh -huh. Gunnery competition. It'll increase the maintenance costs. Yeah, I'm going to say no in this case. Try to save our meager budget. Things have not diminished between us and France. Again, this would be fine if we didn't have to worry about Britain. We are truly facing the like historical situation. And again, with Russia, I wouldn't mind it as much. I don't mind Russia and France. I can't handle Russia, France, and Great Britain. So we're kind of stuck. You know, we, we would, I would love to go to war and take some territory. I have a victory. I'd love to, to, to be victorious, which, lest I forget, I have not been victorious in this game yet. We've only fought a series of not totally embarrassing defeats. I mean, I think that we were expected to lose. And I mean, for, in a way, when if you think of this as like role-playing, the German Navy has probably outperformed expectations thus far but still lost so we'd like a victory okay got some more reserves there we're down to 3000 submarines are just pouring in Oh my gosh, one of our important is assassinated by Russia. I think we're going for it. Because we're we know France is gonna come in anyway. The only question I have, and I hope I hope it's fair, is if Russia does oh man. Yeah, it's gonna go up anyway, so let's just go with it. Oh my goodness, please be uh, I don't think it's going to happen. So um, obviously we need to go to mobilization. Submarines. Unrestricted warfare. We need trade protection. It's fine. Here in West Africa and still having a hard time. Why is that? We're at seven out of ten. Well, okay, we just finished it. Thank goodness. Perfect timing. All right. Anyway, just everyone who's a 
Corvette go to trade protection. And then we'll probably put, well, we have the new ships that are just about to release, just in the nick of time for the war. Who else might we want on trade protection? I think we might want the Baltic folks there. Uh, maybe some of our protected cruisers. They're all gonna be darn slow. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, Gepions. Yeah, probably everybody who's out here can go to trade protection. We have no use for them to do anything else. And that's 25 out of seven, so we're doing all right. Yeah, okay, here we go. Let's see what happens with Great Britain. They're a small, oh, Russia. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we have seven protected cruisers and they have battleships. Oh, we can ambush an enemy force? <sighs> that's great. Are we ambushing them? Is that what we're doing? I, I'm not sure what's going on here. I've never experienced this before. Go to squad max. We spotted an unknown ship, then we lost them. Yeah, I mean, we are close to our territory. How is it that we saw them and then lost them? Okay, there they are. <laughs> squad max takes us up to Blithering 18. Um, see, this doesn't strike me as an ambush so much as it does certain death. What in... Crying cry out loud, man. This is not the kind of fight that this... Who thought that this was a good idea? We'll ambush them. Our infantry will run right up to their tanks and start shooting them. Well, they've also agreed not to fight. I have no idea why. It doesn't seem to behoove them... Like at all to, to retreat from battle here but fair enough I don't actually want to go to battle here I mean go into port I also don't want to go to battle but I'm just gonna kind of hang around the port so we can get in there quickly if we need to and we got points for surviving merchants okay so it's a, a very the most minor of victories but it's a positive way to start things. And we're doing unrestricted warfare, so let's see how that let's see how that goes for us. Okay, we got we're starting to get them. They're coming in. Alrighty. <laughs> France honors alliance and joins Russia in war. Okay, good. Good. That's I wanted it to be that way. Because France already had very high tensions. Will Germany, well, I mean, will Great Britain honor their alliance with France? That's the mystery here. I wonder if the game even, people have said several times in the series, this is probably the most negative I've been about the game. I don't, I don't know if I've like kept these thoughts bottled up or what, but I mean, I obviously still enjoy playing the game, but okay. Um, we lost one of our submarines. We killed, uh, we sank 11 enemy merchants. Okay. So we only got 55 victory points for that. We will still do it, um, I hope. All right, 820, that's a lot that we could probably spend more on submarines, right? No, I don't think so. I think we're gonna wait. We'll get some, maybe get a few advances in submarines before we build more of those. I think we're gonna have to build a new battleship. I, I just don't think we're gonna be able to make it all the way until, I mean, the way we will get the next tier of good guns is going to be by building this thing at a speed of 18 maybe we'll start beefing things up slightly short range battleships i think are going to be fine for us we can move them between the baltic and northern europe i still prefer pretty heavy armor let's go to 11.5 3 3 2 1 8 10 11, 2.5, 2, or 3, and then go for 9 inch. Okay, maybe we'll make this our, our semi-dreadnought. That's a lot of 
That's a lot of secondary. That's seven nine inch guns per side. That's pretty cool. Oh God. Now we're gonna go with the 12 inch guns. We're only a little bit below where we need to be. Um, yeah, so look at this. We go up 490, 494. Dropping down the displacement by 100 increases our weight remaining. It's always these weird things. You know, they're using some formulas for how this all works, and it's very cool the way what they've done. But there's definitely some like knee points, some discontinuities in those derivatives that just don't make any sense. Uh, okay, so let me see. 140 is really plenty for secondaries, but I'll do one for yeah, I'll do 140. Maybe 110 here, because we do have the weight remaining, so we can actually bump some things up. Although I like what we're doing. Four inch guns, three inch guns. We're gonna need something. Hmm. Because we have the quality one three inch guns, I like the idea of that. Maybe just six per side. Something for, this is the anti-destroyer. We'll take seven per side, I think. Um, case mates, interesting. One turrets. What's this looking like? Too many and or too heavy secondary guns for displacement. All right. Okay. We're just over displacement now, so we can get six nine inch guns per side. I'll take it. And yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, we just drop the tonnage down a bit, get a little bit back. I don't think there's anything here that we should improve, honestly. We'll just leave a little bit of room. We'll leave a little bit of room for, um, for better, for central firing. Finally remembered it, central firing. Okay. Is this, do we want to build this? She's going to cost 2000 per month. We are at a budget of negative 800. So it kind of go against my strategy, which is to avoid. Yeah. You know, I mean, I want to build it, I, especially cause I just sunk all this design time into it. <laughs> well, maybe like five minutes, not that big of a deal, but you know what? I think I'm not going to, I think we're going to close out. We can always come back and build this thing again later. To me, the thing, the siren's call is to get more Bodavigs. And we'd almost at this point want to design a better Bodavig, like a Bodavig Mark II. Maybe I'll do that. Um, by the way, when they come, I know that they're going to start in work workup mode, but we want them to immediately go to trade protection so that they do not participate in our battles. Although, you know, honestly, they're probably better than the Triers here. Four six inch guns versus six. Yeah, let's get these triers to trade protection as well, which means that we should only be using, what in goodness gracious name do we even have left in Northern Europe? That's, we have two, we, <laughs> we have two protected cruisers that are, are worth something. Oh my goodness. You know what? I'm gonna take some Bodavigs off. They're not that bad. So let me put, four of them onto active fleet and everyone else will go to trade protection. It's very interesting that I don't know. And yeah, do we want to build more or do we want to redesign another Bodavig? So this is, now we do just to snatch the random name. I wonder why it's not developed from that. Why is it not giving me the, huh? Maybe if I do it this way, okay, that's how you have to do it. Well, what if we wanted, oh my gosh, this thing's amazing. 
This thing's pretty good. Oh, that weight remaining is because of the improvements in technology. So yeah, I do think we want to build a, a new version of it. I might even call this like the Boda Big Mark II. It really is. Nobody really does that though. They would rename it. So we, I, mean, I would like to do that. It's really what it is, but um, there's, oh man, there's like, I look at this and I think everything looks pretty good. Do we have normal cruisers yet? Oh, no, we do not. Okay, fair enough. We'll rename the, you know, from the, from the list. But anyway, this is going back to protected cruiser. And it's, it's got pretty thick armor. If we end up bulging this thing, it'd still be good if it got a little bit more speed though. But speed is expensive. So if we're gonna do this, yeah, let's just stick with it. In fact, we can even decrease this, I guess. Coughlin drops down by seven by doing this, which is quite good. It'll be even cheaper, but better. Yeah, 46 sounds so. Can we actually put, I don't, I don't know if we want to, but could we? Mm, pretty much, yes. We just took down the gun ammunition to 155, which is plenty, I think. Ah. 150. It's as low as I'd want to take it, I think. So we could do this. Speed of 20 is not so slow that you won't be able to use the torpedoes. I think you might be able to. Oh man, I'm talking myself into it. Yeah, let me pick out a new name. Kind of perfect, because it is like the Bodevik. We had somebody submit Bodensi. It's like perfect. So that's actually not enough though. So let's go back up to 3300. Get that 30 space so that this thing can be improved later. Although honestly we might just bulge it later. Which will give us all the tonnage we need. And again that... Oh wait. Oh that increase in torpedo stuff does... Increase complement if we just stick with one which i think we're fine with doing yeah that that's good we have less of a complement we have a lot of that oh, don't close that we have a lot of weight remaining we're in good shape okay so this will be this is good i think this is what we want I'm trying to see if there's anything i'm missing Nothing obvious. I mean, it should be basically the same thing. That's what we were going for. So yeah, the bone C. And even if we don't end up building that, it's, I mean, it's only one month for that. But even if we don't end up building it, we can just leave that design in our back pocket. I think we will end up building it though. Okay, convoy attack against France. Not sure what's going on, oh my goodness. Convoy attack with one? What? It's a Bodevig! <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> all right, well, um, um, I don't know why we're sending a single Bodevig out. Again, the, the circumstances of the battles are always a little questionable to me. But let me also remember to adjust that. Okay, so now we just need to wait to have control, or that will happen. Well, I mean, now we have control. So they're obviously not transports. Oh, there they are. A little bit of erratic maneuvering here so that we can avoid being hit. We're kind of well designed for taking on destroyers. Oh, it's um, becoming daytime. 
All right, well, that's going to make it easier for us to find the transports, I guess. Our only objective is sink any two ships. But for a convoy, we really want to sink as many as possible so we get the victory points. There they are. All right, well, let's just do it. Wow, what the hell? This is very strange that the odds we're up against here, though. I don't think trade protection is supposed to be trade anti-protection for the enemy. So it's, I, I don't know if this, it kind of seems like an unusual battle for us to get. This is probably one of the ones on active fleet. And then again, I think, look at, I'm gonna complain about the battle generator. If it's the one thing that you allow me to complain about, please allow me to complain about maybe two things. The battle generator and oh God, we're gonna lose. Not a good start. Fine, you wanna fight? Then we'll just launch torpedoes at you because I don't know what else to do. Kind of, wow, that is not what's gonna happen. Should have rethought that one. Taking lots of hits. Wait a second. Just need one torpedo to land. To, ah, the port side's already lost. Critical hit, fire control, damaged. Okay, so this is the second, third time that I've lost a fire control station. Interesting to know about. We have two, as far as I know. I don't know how, by the way, we can win this. I think it's impossible, unfortunately. Uh, they are way faster than us. We are landing some hits against this thing, which is twice our tonnage. Let that sink in. <laughs> Fighting something with it's twice, twice the tonnage. So we are not going to sink two ships, almost for sure. In fact, the only thing I can do here is try to get my torpedo off. Did we lose steering or something? Down to 13. All right, this is, I'm, unfortunately, why would you send a single thing into the Atlantic anyways? I don't understand that. But okay, well, this is the, you know, shockingly, this is the consequences of doing this. No, 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 I don't know what's going on, but you have to fire this torpedo. Because this is the only way we can possibly even things up. Well, we, we did not. Turns out we did not even things up. <laughs> well, um, that's that. Not even my wildest auto resolve settings can save us here. We are doomed. France dominating the seas. I don't think that that's true. Let's take a look at that. And by the way, where are our submarines in all this? All right, they're blockading us. That's exactly what we are attempting to to prevent. So not not great. <laughs> not great. Did I forget to rename the Bodevigs? I think I did. So those will have to be given new names. I I'm not going to do it right now. Especially after losing that stupid battle. Well, anyways, let's see what other battles we are um, put in, put, yeah, put into. Yeah, let's take a look. What are we doing here? So France has 577 points, and we have 260. It's gonna be hard to come back from that. That's that is difficult. Um, the Freyas. I think the Volgalands need to come back. Northern Europe, need more points. And any other new Bodevigs coming online are all going to trade protection. Maybe we just have to do, I think we have to just put all these guys on trade protection. They are just too weak. All right, we know, 
again, I'm not sure what this is. I can't really say it any other way. Not sure what the hell we're doing here in the Gulf of Riga. <laughs> Crying out loud. What are you doing? Why were you here? It's Sir Prince Adelbert again. <laughs> oh god, what they and then look at the, the enemy forces trapped us. We have no escape. I think technically you can. I'm not sure if this water's too um shallow to navigate, but I know it is water you know it's there's when you look on a map it looks like there's two exits from the Gulf of Riga and one's to the north but anyway um okay up to 16 let's try not to lose everyone in this godforsaken war that's a scouting force it looks like well let's try to bend up and then go down and to the left to get around This is very unusual that they haven't done anything more. Oh, there's transports. I want to save the engine, so I don't want to go too fast. This guy will probably just abandon ship. It's interesting we have two transports. Finding some hits. Okay, there's something. Looks like it's moving a little bit faster. Has this guy abandoned ship yet? Yeah, we're not firing. Oh, we are firing him. Huh. We'll kill the other one as well. I think it's going down. Did they heave two and capsize? Oh, there it is. All right, we got a, a uh? Okay, well, this is something. <clears throat> we are going to round the cape on it. Prince Albert, man, I wish I had paused just a half second earlier. I don't want that one. I want... Yes. Oh, my. How did... Oh, it's our rear. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And of course they turned immediately. That's okay, I mean, we can win this one. Wow, well, we're not. All right, there we go. Starting to get, starting to get her back. It would be nice to win one after losing the last one, and you know, generally losing most things. So uh, take some shots at this guy who's standing still. Okay, he's down. Well, this is a nice. Oh, it's so nice to be not losing all our ships in a fight. Ah, oh, so refreshing. I think we're going to take all of them except for that one destroyer which went the other way. Alright, let's slow down here. Take it nice and easy. We'll catch up to her. Have our way with her and then... Who knows? Okay, that's a, probably a 6 inch gun. Landing those hits. Thank goodness we're landing more than just three inch hits. Some six inch hits there. Seven inch hit, hooray. You know, the Russians have fought extremely well in this playthrough. They normally do not put up much of a fight, but you cannot say that. Even the Diana here is, is you know, she's still returning fire and landing hits. A pretty respectable showing, I mean, especially, or at least for uh, the Russians. And she's also intelligently heading towards the 7-inch battery, which we know the range of that thing since it's the range of our guns as well. So we'll just try to land a few more hits, and then when we get a little bit closer in... Yeah, that's starting to target us now. 
So we'll probably pull back now and then just kind of see what the Diana does. Just gonna cruise now. Just on the outskirts, taunting. I don't know what ever I don't know what the other destroyer was doing, but well, probably getting home to safety. Oh, it's so nice to have a, a victory. Oh, it's nighttime, you say. Not all that that's not all that bad for us. Is she on fire? Man. Tough day. Tough day for the Diana. We know her pain though. We felt it all the way out in the middle of the middle of the Atlantic. Yeah, I think she's finally going down. We're not going to take any chances. We could really use the victory points here. She's still returning fire. Would rather not get a torpedo for our troubles. So we'll just kind of loop around the rear. She's almost surely dead now, but... No harm in finishing her off. Cool. Um, I'm going to make another pass because I just really don't want this not to be a dead ship. Alright. That's a lot of hits. Okay. Fair enough. Um, do we want to do anything else? No. This has been a very successful day. Let's not risk anything else. All right, so one destroyer did survive. This is a moderate victory, not a great one, unfortunately. But we'll take it. We're down definitely in points. The dire war situation is not the heck. It's not that it's so few points. How do you say dire? I really don't think that... Okay, let's consider this for a second. It's actually worth thinking about. Maybe I want to say the second option. Um, just because this war potent is probably not going to go well for us. I mean, if Great Britain joins in, which I'm very worried about, things will go south in a hurry. So that's the big thing. Let me think about it. Ah, you know, I've been sitting here for like five minutes. A long time, really, just thinking about this. I, I really haven't come to a conclusion yet, but I gotta jump one way or another eventually. Even recording pause, I don't have infinite time to think about this. So, uh, I would really like to have a victory. I, I feel like this... Uh, I feel like we can, we could win this if the British didn't join, but you know, we're gonna choose the second option. Okay, found, founders, dominant. What's on Peninsula? Why, why that? Why are we getting 10 points from, well, we only sank two merchants. We're on unrestricted, we're not allowed, man. Mm. All right, well, this is a, we're, we're gonna have to call this video to a close. So war has come and it's gone better than expected. I say that, what the heck is going on with the victory points? It was at 2100 to 1300 a second ago. What happened? Okay, we're blockaded and as far as I can tell, there's a log to say this, right? Oh, the, is the log not available? Just Intel reports? Where's the log? Is there another place to get, get the log? Huh, interesting. So when they're... When, <laughs> but I mean, it said, right? The 265 points, I believe it was, for being blockaded. Wait, is this crazy? What? Where did that point... Where did the points come from? Am I, did I read it wrong? Was it not 2100 to 1400 a second ago? 
I just don't know. Anyway, um, until the next video, where I'll hopefully we'll have some answers about this victory point stuff. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.